hey guys welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title of this video we're talking about easy ways to look expensive in your 20s guys looking expensive is a thing of the mind it's a mindset and not a price tag to me when i think about i'm um, looking expensive what comes to my mind is feeling um class elegance looking put together looking neat those are what comes to my mind when i think about looking expensive so without wasting more time let's dive right into the video my first point is discover your style try out things and see what works for you it's just about discovering your style and what works for you what fits you the next point is build a basic wardrobe my basic wardrobe like personally i kind of like neutral colors with black white red and then you can have some other colors that are not so picky as time goes on they make you look put together they make you look expensive and just very classy and presentable black you can never go wrong with black and white and even let me just say neutral colors you can't go wrong with it also in your dressing what you consider first question if i enter this room with this dress what's the mindset people would have about me you know there's another that says like, dress the way you want to be addressed so yeah for me i would describe my my style of clothing hair like my style as something quite simple something quite basic i really don't like doing too much but yeah i'm not doing i love to look like i'm not doing too much but yeah i'm looking good so that's something i really love i also want to say this and it also like gets to how you see yourself how you know yourself how you accept yourself like acceptance not because somebody's doing it and then you're doing it that kind of thing acceptance of who you are like you don't like for my for i'm just talking generally you don't have to like wear um expensive hair you don't have to wear expensive hair to look expensive it's look expensive you don't have to if you don't want to to you get you don't have to if you don't want to your natural hair can't take you from zero to hundred but it depends on how good you are with it the, the important thing is keep your hair clean and neat i feel like when you invest in basic clothes it's easier for you to combine or like when you have most of your wardrobe full of flowery tops and then flowery pants or skirts so like combining can be a whole lot if you are not good with this fashion stuff it's just going to look hard so you don't want to like start spending minutes looking for what to wear and how to combine but all these neutral colors will just help you just help you select fast and still give your a game like make you look good so if you are someone like me that like i am a gown person i love wearing gowns compared to skirt skirt and top because i want to avoid the headache of looking for what top goes with this skirt what skirt goes with this one so i just invest in gowns just one type of colors or stuff because you know as i said my style is basic my style is simple so and also if you are my kind of person like modest dressing um advocate or let me say ambassador so to say you know you want to like wear something that is presentable give you that class you want elegant and still make you look very modest what i do is i invest in sewing my dresses because before you see like modest dresses that are so good they uh, you, you you walk and then they are so 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 expensive so expensive I'm telling you so i prefer to invest in sewing my dresses of course my style and everything and it's just good to go so that's why i said it's good for you to discover your style and see what works for you and then go with it then another thing that makes you look expensive is sunglasses sunglasses as a way of elevating your look 
another thing that elevates your look is when you smell nice fragrances that are put together the smell is kind of a little bit complex some are very mild that it's just so good so the next point is investing in yourself and explore go out motivate yourself if you don't have money to travel to travel to new places and explore like in your city where you live there are places that are so nice that are so pleasant you can go out leave your comfort zone you may just go to a very nice restaurant you don't have to spend a whole lot of money you could have googled about it check what you are going to buy when you get there the amount you are going to spend and everything you put it together you already have it in mind not that when you get there you be like man they are giving you the prices and you're like oh so when you get there you see things you see other people that are there it kind of boosts your horizon it kind of help you it kind of motivates you to be a better version of yourself what you can see at in your immediate environment it opens your eyes to it remember when i was in secondary school when i watched some of these very intelligent movies and then when i'm done watching i find myself speaking almost the same way this, these people are speaking kind of behaving almost the same way they are behaving why because it had, exist, it had exceeded my environment what i see on normal day another thing and actually motivating me to be better also to see another side of life like it made me see another side of life that i'm not living that i've not been to but it makes you see that oh aside where you are staying there are also places there are also bigger things that you can actually explore of course it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to pass your budget you can start small so he helps you to think bigger then another thing that can make you like easier way to make you look expensive one saying says charity begins at home like where you are living your immediate environment it could be your room it could be a house like how neat it is you can change some things around so you give it another look you know that it gives you that feeling that oh when you're going home you're in that oh i'm going to my house you know you can elevate your space by adding little things maybe some artworks maybe some scented candles it just make your space look good and you know what i said looking expensive start from within it's about you feeling comfort so and that's what will radiate outside that people will see so your space should look neat and put together any day anytime another thing is your morning routine and night routine like the, there's a, there's the shower time has a way of giving you this kind of fulfillment you know you are applying your facials go, going with your body wash it kind of i don't know if it's only me or some other people have that feeling it kind of gives you this happy vibe and night routine as well or and you waking up in the morning looking at your skin in the mirror even without taking your bath yet and it's looking all radiant and so good it has a way of making you feel like no 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 it has to do with feeling it has to do with comfort it has to do with yeah convenience so yeah and sometimes you may have to do your some things yourself to cut down costs that's where diy comes Remember when I was in Abeku type, my hair is rough, I take it like that to the salon, they do the losing, washing, and make another one. When I got to Lagos and I realized the price it cost to make hair and also to like all the hair stuff, I lose my hair myself. Yeah, I lose my hair myself. I wash my hair myself. Then I go to the salon for making and that's because I can't make my hair myself because I know that if I can do that, I will do it myself. <laughs> so there are some things that you might have to like learn to do by yourself to cut costs and it also kind of help you. It gives you this kind of elegant stuff when you can do some things yourself. You only outsource for the ones that you can't. Then another thing that makes you easier way that makes you look expensive is um speaking positively to yourself 
of course you know you have to be comfortable with being yourself then speaking and um, speaking positively to yourself like words of affirmation words of affirmation can never and never go wrong words of affirmation i have money money comes to me good health is mine i have all that i need i am beautiful i am wonderfully made i am who god says i am words of affirmation is beautiful beyond words it's not it's not what you you know sometimes when i see some things online maybe i was going through uh instagram i saw this beautiful thing oh god i love this i wish i could have it or oh, i want to have this if it's your will for me you know that kind of thing and before you know it i find myself having it so sometimes it, it's not really even about being spiritual or stuff it's just about the thing of the mind it's just about the thing of the mind what you believe in what you allow your mind to like feed on speaking positively to yourself cannot be over 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 emphasized at all so yeah if you have not been doing it if you have not been doing it you should actually cultivate that habit so my last point you know people will say oh titi all this thing you have been saying cost money and all of that and that's what brings me to our last point which is budget the whole point of looking expensive is not to go broke you don't have to spend all the money in your bank account just because you want to look expensive or because you've seen some designer bags there are some bags that are not designer at all and they are good and they don't even cost as much as all those ones it's just for you to know your market and how you get your stuff the point of looking expensive is not to go broke at all like understand your budget if you need if you need to buy something you can it's not composite that you buy it that month if it's not in your budget you can contribute for two three months to be able to afford it set goals for yourself within your budget you can't compare somebody's 11 journey 11 years to yours 11 months looking expensive comes with feeling what you feel about yourself first the convenience class elegance and comfort most important and very importantly if you discover your style and what works for you even the person spending lots of money would be asking you how how are you doing it that you're looking this good this expensive this put together this comfortable and this lively so this is what we're going to stop in this video if you have one or two things to say please drop it in the comment section um thank you for watching see you in the next one bye